What is up YouTube? Brian here back again with another video. And today we are going to play with a Daiwa Tatula 100 reel. Now, um, to start off this video, I just want to let you guys know that I bought this reel when they first came out. This is an 8 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, when these first dropped, uh, people had tons of stock of these. You were actually able to get these things for like around 100 bucks. Like I think I actually paid like $100 ship for this reel. Um, nowadays, that's not the case because, uh, you know, stock and COVID and everything. But anyway, so I got this reel at a really great price, and it is an 8 to 1. And I have been using the crap out of this reel since I got it about two years ago. And it has been my primary frogging reel. Now, this reel is got brass gears. Not the SV spool, so this is the version that came out before the SVs. And I gotta say that I've been thoroughly impressed with this reel. I love it. Um, I actually just picked up a new frog rod for this season, and I decided, hey, I think this reel deserves a few upgrades. Um, I don't want to buy a whole new reel just for frogging. You know, I could go out and buy a zillion HD or, you know, a bigger batter, you know, like a more than or, or something more expensive, or I can just take this $100 uh tattoo 100 that's been doing really well by uh my by my standards for frogging and just give it a little give it a, get a few upgrades here and there so i reached out to my friends at tackle trap and i said hey give me some parts i want to upgrade this thing a little bit um get it a little more uh beefed up for frogging or just really any applications and tackle trap they sell a ton of Daiwa parts and they said of course we'll hook you up so here's the parts list of what i um got from tackle trap so we're going to throw on a Daiwa Tatula Elite Pitch Flip Handle. Now this is a 100 millimeter handle, which is much bigger than the stock handle. So I'll just put them up next to each other. I wanted a bigger handle. This was like my number one thing was um, I wanted a 100 millimeter handle. Tackle Trap has a bunch of different 100 millimeter handles and what they have in stock kind of comes in and out because, you know, they can only get a certain amount of stock from Daiwa, especially nowadays with COVID, getting parts is not very easy. So you'll have to check Tackle Trap's website for what their latest availability is for 100 millimeter handles or even just 90 millimeter, whatever. If you want to just change out your handle or upgrade, uh, you should check out Tackle Trap's website. I'll leave the link in the description of where you can look that up. Um, I'm also going to make a couple little cosmetic changes. Uh, so I'm going to add these, uh, the, the zillion, the uh, red lock nut, or I'm sorry, the red nut plate. So we're going to put a little red on this reel just to kind of match my rod that I got coming on. Uh, we're going to take the plastic cosmetic cap off and replace that. And then uh, I got two bearings. So we're going to upgrade the uh, spool support bearings with some Hedgehog ZRs. Uh, you know, they're, they're not that expensive. They're like 11 bucks. Um, so here they are. So I got my, my Hedgehog bearings. My new side plate, or I'm sorry, my new handle cap, and then my new handle. So I've actually already taken this reel apart and done a full cleaning on this thing. So it is pretty clean inside, and I re-lubed it and everything. So this is not going to be a cleaning video, but what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the spool bearing. So the bearing is supported by two spool, I'm sorry, two... I can't talk today. The spool is supported by two bearings, one on the side plate and another underneath the tension knob. So we do have to bust this reel open to get at the, this, this, this bearing in particular requires you to take the whole side plate off. This one uh, does not, however. So we're going to dive in. Uh, first things first, we're going to take off the side plate. So I was kind of him and hawing about, you know, do I want to just get a better frog reel, something a little more intense, a little more fancy. And I'm like, no, I like this reel a lot. So we're just going to give it a little TLC and do some simple upgrades on it. So there's the first bearing that we're going to replace. Uh, we're going to take the take our spool out. So this is a Daiwa long shaft spool, uh, which is common with all the Tatulas. There is no bearing on the spool, unlike, you know, loose reels or, you know, there's a lot of reels where there is a bearing on the spool. And then there's some Daiwas that have that as well. So we're gonna put the spool off to, oh, I hit my light. We're gonna put the spool off to the side here. Put that out of the way. Move our parts over. Okay, so to get this side plate off, um, we're gonna to need to take the whole handle assembly down. Uh, we'll do that next. So I really like these uh, Wura, uh, Wura, Wura screwdrivers. I've talked about them in the past, but uh, if you want really good high quality screwdrivers, oh yeah. So the Phillips, the regular Phillips ones, is not what you want to use for Daiwas because they have these uh, flathead screwdrivers. I'm not sorry, it's flathead screws. So this is actually a Wura. Let's see, I'll put that up there if you guys want to pick one of these up. I don't know what the size on that is. Anyway, it's a eight, uh, 0.80 by 4. So this one is really good for Daiwa baitcasters. Fits the screws perfectly. 
So we're going to take the cap off. So that's the old cap. Probably not going to, we're not, that guy's not going back on. Uh, let's see. I really like these, uh, this is a 10 millimeter socket, so you can just use a regular socket, but Roro makes these really cool uh, tools for getting uh, handle nuts off, and they also have one for spinning reels. Oops, this is reverse threaded, so we gotta go like this. Hopefully I went the right direction. Sorry if this video is going to be a little slow because we got to get a lot of screws off. So when you're taking this off, you're going to want to kind of put your thumb on this thing because there, there's a spring underneath the drag star. So I'm going to put the new handle over off to the side. The bearings over here. Side plate over here. So this is the old handle. There's always going to be a washer on the bottom of it, so we're going to save that washer. Uh, so the drag star is going to always have these spring loaded. So when you lift it up, there's always going to be a spring. So we'll put that over here. It's always good to lay out the parts in the order that you take them off, just so you can remember. Here's your adjustment knob now, or your adjustment screw. So um, if you leave the spool in and put your thumb on it, it'll stop this from spinning. Uh, makes it easy. It'll stop the the main shaft from spinning, and it'll make it easier to put it back on. Taking it off isn't a big deal, but putting it back on the thing might spin. So this is where your, your spring sits in this nut. And there's going to be a couple of washers underneath it. So you don't want to lose. There's always some. There's always uh, there's always washers underneath this thing. Put it off to the side. And there should be one more washer in the clicker. I'll just leave those in there. So this this is what makes your clicking sound when you spin your drag. Uh, adjustment tool it goes click 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 that's what this guy does all right put that over there all right so there's the universe clutches in here there's always there's one more washer we'll get that guy out washers out all right now we can start popping the side plate screws off The only real difference between this reel and the regular Tatula SV 103s is the spool, as far as I can tell, and the uh, body. This has that matte finish. Um, the SVs are the kind of glossy gunmetal finish, and the SVs have the SV spool. Now for frogging and throwing like a heavier bait like a frog, I don't think I really need the SV spool. I'd rather actually have the extra line capacity of the regular Tatula 100. So that's why I've stuck with this reel as a kind of primary frogging reel, and it's performed really well. I just, I figure the bigger handle will give me a little more torque, and these bearing upgrades will give me a little more consistency with my casting. And I've always just wanted to upgrade one of these like kind of base model reels and throw, throw some parts at it, pimp it out a little bit. These things don't want to grab. Okay, now you got those three screws off. The side plate should just kind of lift off. Your anniverse clutch sleeve is going to kind of sometimes stick inside the side plate. So I've already greased, I think I have, yeah. I've already greased this reel pretty good. Um, can't see it, but there is a lot of grease on there, and at least, at least enough. Um, and I've already greased some of the wear parts. So this isn't going to be a cleaning video. We're just going to kind of set this off to the side. Here's your main gear and your drag stack is under here. Well, your one, it's not really a drag stack on a Daiwa Tattoo. They have one carbon fiber drag plate. Um, I'm gonna take this, cause this is just gonna fall out anyways. The inner reverse sleeve. Now, when you're putting these back together, the inner reverse sleeve needs to kind of drop in and then there's some teeth. Oops, there's some teeth on the sleeve. So you want the teeth to sit in there and that's how you get your inner reverse. If you don't have those teeth in there, nothing's gonna line up right. Okay, so this is going to be the fun part. I heard that this bearing, this retention plate, is kind of a pain in the butt to get out. So the bearing is hiding under here, but there's this like kind of starfish-looking retaining plate. So I'm going to try and pry this sucker out. Apparently, it doesn't really matter if you bend it a little bit. It's just a pain in the butt to get out. 
All right, well, that came out a little better than I thought. So we'll put that off to the side. And our bearing is right there, the stock one. So we're gonna try and get this guy out. It's underneath the zero adjust knob. So we're gonna, we're just gonna try and shimmy this guy out. Without taking the cap off. We probably could take the cap off, but I don't think we need to. Hmm. That guy's in there. Whew, he is wedged in. All right, I guess we're gonna take the zero cap off. As you adjust. Nope, oh, of course, pops out really easy when you go from the other direction. All right. So I took off the zero, the quote unquote zero adjust knob off and that got that sucker out easily. Okay, so here's our stock bearing and then here's our replacement. Uh, let's see, I might just drop one little drop of oil in there. I don't know if you really need to, but we're just gonna put one little, since we got it out, one little teeny tiny drop of nano oil. Now we're just gonna lay that back into the new, it's new home. Should line up perfectly. Let's see, I need a bigger screwdriver for that. Put this one in. All right, so that's seated down in there. Now we gotta put that retention thing back in. I have a feeling this is gonna be a pain in the butt. Retention clip. I wish they would just use a spring, but they didn't. All right, actually that was pretty easy. So we got our replacement, our new hedgehog bearing is in there and we got the retention clip back in. Uh, that's all we need to do from the inside. Like I said, I already cleaned this thing. This is not a cleaning video. I already greased it, cleaned it, it's good to go. Uh, we can just kind of put this back together now. So we're gonna flip that around. Um, you can put your finger on this if you don't want it to fall out, but this bearing on the spool, shout out for the inner reverse. All right, so we're in. Gonna throw a screw on the side here. Just keep this sucker together. So we got one bearing in. Now we just got to do the bearing on the side plate. That is next. All right, so that's in there. Um, I might as well just put together the whole side handle. So when you get this together, you want to turn and make sure your anti reverse is working. Then you know you got your everything's lined up right. Uh, if you didn't get something right, like especially with the anti reverse sleeve, it's not going to sandwich together real nice and. Uh, real nice and flush. Now remember, I am not a real technician. I am just a complete and utter amateur. I've just been pulling reels apart since I was a teenager just to clean them and goof around. And uh, I am by no means a like super nerd. Uh, there's a lot of much better real techs out there than me. I'm not uh, even consider myself a real tech. I am just a fisherman who doesn't like paying people to clean and grease my stuff when I can do it myself and save some money. And plus I find it kind of therapeutic. I think it's fun to pull things apart and play with them. Especially reels that are, bait casting reels are really simple. You shouldn't be intimidated to pull these things apart because the parts on these things are not very elaborate. Spinning reels are slightly more scary, um, but bait casting reels are all pretty dead simple. Okay, so here's our stock bearing. Uh, we got our other hedgehog here. We're gonna get this guy out. So we're gonna have to pull out this little retaining plate. Now it's a good idea to put your thumb in here. So if the plate or if the spring comes out, it doesn't shoot across the room. And then this, this thing is really tiny. You're gonna lose it. So one trick is to, if you are worried about losing this thing, this clip is you can kind of slide it into the side and the magnets on the, on the uh, Daiwa braking system will hold this thing in place. So you can stick it in there and it ain't going anywhere or you can just lay it on your table, whatever. 
I'm just saying if you're if you're worried about losing it, there's a trick there. So this bearing should come out much easier. Yep. <laughs> Sticking to the magnets. So there's our other stock bearing. Uh, we're going to take our Hedgehog ZR. I'm going to drop just one little peat drop of oil in there. Probably doesn't need it. It's probably fine dry, but just for funsies. Shove the new one in there. Put our spring re our retaining clip back in. This is always kind of fun to do. I hate putting these back in. They're going to get under the lip. You don't want it to fly out. All right. We're in. All right. So bearing number two, upgraded. Now there's a lot more bearings in these things that you could upgrade. Um, however, uh, I'm not going to do all that. Oop, I didn't. I was going to put a little oil on the. Let's put a little oil right here on the worm. Um, I wasn't going to go too crazy and upgrade all sorts of bearings on this thing. I was just going to upgrade the spool shaft. Now upgrading the spool shaft bearings is going to, you know, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but it's going to. Um, it's going to give you more consistency on your casts. At least that's what everybody says. All right, so we're gonna throw the spool in. Drop that back in. We're gonna put our plate back on. Now you can use a coin to uh, put to open up this side plate. A lot of people just keep like a quarter or a nickel laying around. You don't have to use a flathead. In fact. A coin sometimes works better because it's big. Okay. We're good to go there. We can start, we can put our handle back together. Now, this is going to be the fun part because we've got some new parts. So, first things first, we're going to put that washer down. We're going to put our clicker. We'll put our clicker on. You can put a little, you can put a little grease on the clicker here if you want. Since this is technically a wear part, you don't have to, but you can. Uh, let's see. Got this washer. Got this nut. Now this is where you can hold your the thumb down with your spool and to get this thing back on. It'll spin nice. Now you don't have to wrench this thing down. You just want it to sit flush because this is what your drag star spins. Uh, I'll put the spring back in. And then I think that's it. Now we can put the drag star in our new handle. So our new handle, the Tatula 100, I'm sorry, the Pitch Flip 100 millimeter handle. So we'll put our drag star on. And you want to kind of squeeze it down on there. So you kind of want to hold this down, grab it, and put the washer on. We're going to put our new fancy schmancy handle, bigger batter, more torque. I'll put this guy down there. Actually, I'm going to go like this. All right. <laughs> Much better. Told you, I'm not a professional. It's even harder to do it when you're making a video and you're thinking about talking and not what you're doing. All right, I go one more smidge. Ugh. Wrong way. These things are reverse threaded, so you gotta go, or oh, never mind, it's not reverse threaded, that's ready, tidy. All right, we nailed it. Fifth time's the charm. It is a very small screw. So when you're thinking about upgrading any of your reels, doing kind of this stuff to it, and you don't know which parts you want to order, um, you can 100% just reach out to our friends at Tackle Trap, just shoot them an email or a phone call. 
Um, they have some hardcore real nerds working at their shop that'll just say, hey, what, what reel do you have? What are you kind of looking to do? And they will recommend parts and maybe even put together an invoice for you or whatever you need. And uh, so now I have a upgraded Tatula 100 with a new red cap, some Hedgehog ZR bearings, and a much, much better. Uh, I like this Tatula Elite Pitch Flip handle. Um, I like how big it is. I kind of like these knobs. I know a lot of people, I know these knobs are a little con unconventional. Uh, some people love them. Some people don't like them. However, this handle is hard to get. So people must love them because uh, they are not always in stock. And when they do go in stock, they fly out. But there's a lot of uh, uh, options for handles. There's zillion handles. There's um, other aftermarket like CPI. and um, So anyway, just hit up Tackle Trap. They can hook you up with parts like this. I just dropped 60 bucks into this reel to give it a uh, complete, not a complete makeover, but a, com you know, a pretty decent sizable upgrade. And now I'm going to be really happy using this on my new TS Poker Frog Rod. And uh, I think this thing is going to be up to the task for bringing in some two pound fish out of really, really thick cover this year. So anyway, that's my video. We got our upgrades in. Thanks to Tackle Trap for the parts. Uh, I'm sorry I fumbled through a couple of things on here, but uh, the Tattoo 100 is a awesome workhorse reel. This is a winner if you just need something that's inexpensive that you just want to beat the crap out of. Uh, this reel has performed awesome for me for the last two years, and I've used it for some really heavy stuff like flipping and frogging, and uh, it's held up awesome. And now it's going to be even ready uh, to handle more fish this year thanks to my upgraded parts from Tackle Trap. So if you like the video, hit subscribe and uh, leave a comment below, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.